I want to take you with me because I want to show you how I do it and I want to inspire you to do it as well. I want to get away, but I can use some company. If you're alone like me, we could go on a trip. Girl, I want to see the sun, dive into the deep ocean, dance with you all night long, move as you swing your hips. Let's take a break from the stress and the hate, feel the love and feel the rhythm, singing oh na na, oh na na. I want to go where the birds fly low. I bought this can at Michael's. It's in the shape of a milk jug. It's a fair size and then we've been using it as an umbrella stand. I really like the ridging around it. I've had this paint for a while and I really wanted to use it up. It's almost like um, a tinge of gray, greenish. Now I'm just covering it up with the uh, paint all over. I'm leaving the handles for last so that I'm able to move it around. This is the first coat, so I'm not too worried. The only thing I did as far as preparation for this project was really just give it a good wash down with soap and water, nothing else. I didn't even scruff it up. It does scratch a little bit, which I'm not worried, and I will show you. This is just the first coat, so it will scratch. By the time I'm done, you will see that there will be no scratches, no Will be perfectly painted. I'm going to show you how we would, we're going to do that. I think I'm ready to go. I've got my coffee set up. This is just uh, soapy water for my brushes, cleaning wipes, and now I'm going to be doing a little bit of checks because hello, of course, this is a checker channel. I'm just going to try and do the squares without the tape because that's driving me nuts. First, let me have a sip of my coffee. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not worried about anything that's scratched because all of this will be touched up and then I'm gonna put a sealer on it. a few squares they are a little bit bigger than the others. I'm not going to worry about it. At the end of the day, this is going to be to put umbrellas. And there you have it. That's how it looks so far. So I'm going to touch it up. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I did want to put some stripes, but I'm not sure. Um, maybe I'll try one and see how that goes. Now, if you follow me for a while, you know that I don't really plan things. Can't say that I never do. Most of the times, I don't. I figured I'm putting these stripes here. If I don't like it, I'm not too worried about it because I'm going to take a little bit of paint and then I will just paint it over. So I'm going to put this away and then I'm going to go on to the next step. Now, right now you're looking at this and it may seem pretty plain. Not to worry, it's going to have a little bit more of a whoosh, if you will. Now, I normally do the squares white and black checkered. So I'm going to do the accents and I will come back and show you that. Got my trusted little whisk brush. I'm just going to dab it ever so gently and clean it off. Clean it off and then I'm going to just do this. A lot of you may not want to do this. That's up to you. I like it. This is the way I do mine. Sometimes I add a little bit more of the white. Sometimes I don't. No, it just kind of accents it a little bit. You know how I'm crazy check obsessed, but I'm not going to check everything in my life. That would probably drive my husband insane. I think though I need to do something with the handles. Now, you know, when it comes to painting, it's all about layering. Now I'm going to add this little bit uh, solid gold from Bear. Oh, this is a gorgeous, um, I don't know, mustard almost. Ooh. Is it just me or do you like peeling this off? I don't know. I want it to be whiskey, but definitely not a perfect line. If this is your first time, I have many, many videos 
where I've done furniture and it's quite different. To be perfectly honest, I actually like furniture projects um, a lot more than doing these little projects. It gives me more of a satisfaction. We all need a little bit of sunshine, right? This will give it a little bit of a yellow pop or a mustardy pop. I'm gonna try the mustard on the handle and see how that comes out better. What do you think? Yeah, I think black would be better. So we're gonna change that to black. See how easy that was? You don't like it, it's only paint, nothing to lose. We just change the color. Okay, so here we've got the black. That's just one coat. And here we've got the mustard. I kind of like the black. I'm gonna let this dry now. And I have this napkin from, of course, Mackenzie Charles, and I think it is so pretty. And I love this bird. I'm gonna trace him out and I'm going to take it to the next step. I'm going to keep this part for another project. I think this bird is so cute. I don't remember for the life of me right now what this one is called. If you do, please let me know. Leave it in the comments below. Cut out the little guy. And now I want him to go smack in the middle here. So I've got some Mod Podge gloss one. So I'm going to put some Mod Podge roughly where I want him to go. I'm just going to give another coat on top. We're gonna let this dry and then we'll come back. It's now the next day, so I'm gonna show you. I seem to have lost the footage of what I did, but you did see me paint the whole thing in this lovely, lovely color. Do the squares and then just a little detail of white and a bit of gold. And then I showed you that uh, I cut this from a napkin, the Mackenzie Child's napkin, and I uh, used Mod Podge. And then I gave it an, a coat of Mod Podge. Now, I didn't show you was that I did put a little trim here in black a little trim here in black just with a brush and a little trim here and down here. And then what I did was again, I, you know, Mod Podged everything. Now I do have this little ribbon here. Um, it's just, you know, teeny tiny squares and it's going to match his um, sort of this part down here. Now I thought about putting it down here, but I'm not going to do that because this is going to be close to the floor. So, um, you know, when you're mopping and moving things around, I don't want to put that, but I decided that I'm going to put a little ribbon here, just like this. And voila, there's my umbrella stand and it cost me 10 bucks on sale. I actually got two of them, got them at Michael's when they were on sale. I'm quite happy with the way it turned out. Something simple, 10 bucks. Oh, there's my project. Let me know what you think and I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the umbrellas. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel hit that red button below and hit the bell to be notified when i upload for now take care of each other be kind and always remember that you want to reach a point in your life when you say remember when and never ever i wish i did